the Rothmans Royals St. Ledger, a mile and three quarters, plus half a furlong, and we're expecting a strong pace. Sadler's Creek sent straight into the lead, one of the O'Brien Quartet from Demophilus and Alu Nissage with When in Rome close up with these and Anne Beyond on the outside, Mr. Combustible up the inside, then Milan and Pugin, Mediterranean and Life Match. One of those we thought might make the running is the back marker in the pink jacket as they race down the back straight and it's Sadler's Creek that leads the way in the dark blue with the blue and yellow quartered cap followed by Demophilus in the orange jacket the blue of Godolphin just shielded in third aboard Alan Nisarge the black and white diamonds of Mr. Combustible next and then on the outside of these is Pugin and they're followed by and beyond towards the outside as they race towards Rose Hill when in Rome back on the inside in a yellow jacket followed by Milan Mediterranean and Life Match on the descent from Rose Hill now less than a mile and a quarter to cover and they're quite well strung out and it's Sadler's Creek that's making the running to Demophilus in second and a clear second because Alan Assange is a good five lengths back in third through the first uh, four and a half furlongs in 53.22 seconds that's a very fast pace indeed albeit with a tailwind down the back they'll hit the wind when they come up the home straight and that's where it'll get really tough and it's Sadler's Creek from Demophilus in second Alan Assange and Pugin on the outside of Mr. Combustible then and beyond wide of when in Rome, Belan has set well off this early pace. Mediterranean is one from last, followed by Stablemate at the rear life match. Sadler's Creek is just beginning to find it hard work in front now. And Demophilus draws rather closer under Richard Quinn. And uh, Richard may be left in front in a second or two. Alan Assange in third, then Pugin, Mr. Combustible back on the inside. Then and beyond is uh, three deep and uh, something's gone wrong with Mediterranean. Mediterranean appears to have broken down towards the rear and is being pulled up very quickly, the ball winner. Meanwhile, up front, Demophilus has been left in the lead and has a two or three length advantage over Alan Assange in second place. Then Pugin and beyond down the outside. Mr. Combustible went in Rome. Milan is locked away on the inside under Mick Canan as they stretch now for the final three furlongs. And it's Demophilus by a couple of lengths. Alan Assange, Mr. Combustible up the inside when in Rome. Milan's got plenty to do and he's got to find a way through the traffic. Pugin finding it hard work. So is and beyond. And Demophilus leads them inside the final quarter mile with a three or four length lead over Mr. Combustible then when in Rome now Milan is pulled out and beginning to charge home and looks a big danger to the leader Demophilus is cut down in a matter of strides by Milan and Milan comes swooping through in the hands of Mick Canan and it looks like yet another classic win for Bally Doyle and Milan is scorching away and Milan a runaway winner of the St. Ledger